There are stories told through photos and artifacts. There are stories you would not hear in school. There are stories passed down from generation to generation. I'm Latoya Clements, host of the Inside Connection right here on WJAB TV. And I have the opportunity to sit down with Mr. William Hampton, founder of Huntsville Revisited, as he shares his story on the Inside Connection. William Hampton, William Henry, <laughs> native born son, Huntsville, Madison County, Alabama. One who, who found a deep love for this community through the eyes of grandparents and great grandparents uh, who absolutely loved this, this city. And at a young age, I got a chance to sit at their feet and learn about the city. Uh, I'm one of six children born to my, my mother. So my roots are in 10th Cavalry Hill here in Huntsville, Madison County, Alabama. One of those kids raised by the community, by the village. Father of three, grandfather of five. My lovely wife, Linda, is uh, my driving force, kind of keeps me balanced. Uh, Huntsville Revisited was, was birthed in 1978. Um, it was the result of a high school term paper uh, where I shared my love for Huntsville and kind of in a uh, contrast to what these teachers and some of the students you know, were constantly putting the city down, I was telling the good points and the uh, contributions that Huntsville has made uh, nationally and internationally. I've had a camera since I was eight years old, so I've always loved taking pictures wherever I go, but just all over Madison County. So I started sharing these pictures, and then as people were tagging them and sharing them with their friends, they would start posting pictures that they had taken, and it was clouding my inbox on Facebook and it was also crowding my email inbox. And so we would get these uh, orders that were coming in and the page was, uh, the pictures were really popular. So literally hundreds of email notifications were coming in from the Huntsville related pictures. So in 2008, uh, I separated them and launched Huntsville Revisited. This didn't start just start when I opened the museum. For many years, individuals would entrust their family belongings in my care. They understand that through the years I have an appreciation for history. And so many times I would receive a phone call, an email, a Facebook inbox. William, I have uh, a box of photos. Or William, I have a dress. I have something and no one else in the family wants it. And I know that you will take care of it. You will share this story um, of my loved one. So those are the primary ways. Sometimes they'll have a photo that they don't want to part with, but they want me to have it. So they'll scan it or you know, send me a copy. And those are welcomed as well. I've always loved museums and visiting them. While I was in high school, the summer before my junior year, I purchased this high school memory book. And in there you journal. From 1978, my graduating year, uh, I wrote this when I was 16 though, that I wanted to become mayor, governor, and open a museum of Huntsville history. So I've had that desire since I was 16 years old. From, from age 16, so last year, June 19, 2020, I'd had this desire. So Jim Batson, the president of H.C. Blake, I didn't know had been following the page. And he reached out to me one day and said, hey man, let's do lunch. We met over at the uh, former headquarters of H.C. Blake on Holmes Avenue. I picked him up and he said, I have something I want to show you. And so we drove over to this parking lot, potholes everywhere, the complex looking raggedy, you know, they've been run down for years. And he told me that they had, H.C. Uh, Blake had purchased this shopping complex and we're going to redevelop it and repurpose it. And he said, I've been following you and I see your post about wanting to open a museum. And he looked at me, he said, let's, let's walk. 
And so we got out and we went into all the buildings and I said, man, this is, this is great. This is cool. Again, just thinking he's showing me this place. And he looks at me and he says, you know, William, I think you need to put Huntsville Revisited here. I said, I'd love to. And Jim Batson, president of H.C. Blake, made this possible. Everything gets, gets shown at one time or another. People who, who uh, will bring a picture of a noted Huntsville citizen, you know, if they were an elected official or if they had a, a, a popular business, uh, like right behind me over my left shoulder is uh, Aunt Eunice and she had a popular restaurant out on uh, Andrew Jackson Way. Categories I have, Alabama A&M, NASA Marshall Space Flight Center and Redstone Arsenal. I have our, our mill history. You know, Huntsville had a number of mills. You know, had Dallas Mill. Of course, Low Mill has now been transformed into an arts and entertainment center. During the Vietnam War, uh, army boots were made here in Huntsville at what we know today as Low Mill. That was Genesco. I have a category of musicians and singers from Huntsville. We have actors and actresses, politicians. Our courthouse, another category directly behind me is our municipal, our county, and our federal courthouse uh, history is exhibited here. We have hotels, some restaurants, I have memorabilia from dry cleaners, just different businesses, that kind of thing. I offer tours, Huntsville Revisited tours, and there can be a walking tour, and I do, uh, uh, of course, a guided tour. And then I also do tours of the entire county. Uh, family reunion groups come into town and they'll book me for a tour. I had one group, they weren't from Huntsville, but uh, their family decided to get together. And I think each, each year they will just pick a city and their family will meet there, vacation, and that's their family reunion. So this one group came in and uh, they sent me a list of places they wanted to see. I think there was five for a three hour tour. It was Big Spring Park, uh, Botanical Gardens, I think the Space Center, a couple other things. But I told them with, for three hours, oh, let me show you my hometown. I told them, you gotta see Big Spring Park and let me share the history. So we got down there. They, they, we spent, I think, an hour just with them being captivated with the history of Big Spring Park, First National Bank, all around the Courthouse Square and all of the different events that have taken place there. My most unique piece is one that I just came across a few days ago. It was on at auction and I bid on it and I lost, but it's an Ira Collins photo. Ira Collins was born in 1843 and he died in 1919. There's an iconic photo of the Big Spring uh, St. Bartley baptism. A lot of folks have seen it, maybe not known what it is, but it's an iconic photo that Ira Collins took. At auction, this photo of about 15 African-American children looked like they ranged in age from two or three on up to early teens. Nothing in the background uh, tells me where they might be. It looks like uh, they're on a farm or something like that. But Ira Collins took it here in Huntsville. Uh, that is the most unique piece I have right now. I do have three uh, video, reel to reel, of President Kennedy's speech, it's, been, it's unclassified, at Redstone Arsenal. I'm constantly seeking uh, new pieces to add. The most unique thing that, that we have right now are the stories. Uh, I don't have that rare uh, piece that, you know, is nowhere else in the world other than the stories. I have those, but um, it's a day-to-day -day search for me, Huntsville, Madison County, and Alabama Treasure. Within the next five or ten years, I want to have a firm foundation uh, with a resource to capture these stories, similar to StoryCorps, where they can come in, someone can come in here with, uh, with an elderly family member or, or someone who knows their family story, and I have the resources to record and archive that story, uh, to bring in and develop a team of reenactors to share stories 
of Huntsville's past and its present, you know. So, because I don't just, I don't just live in the past. I share current stories as well. But to develop uh, and have a curriculum in our schools to teach and share this history. Because I have more days behind me than in front of me. So I'm laying a foundation for someone else to continue building on Huntsville Revisited. We are connected like the, like, like the hand to arm and like the thumb to the hand. So I consider if we're the thumb, the other, other museums and, and, and attractions in Huntsville, um, we are a part of the story, but I have the freedom and I have the liberty and I have the license as owner to make sure that certain stories that are left out of the narrative in other museums and other tours that I'm able to include those and make sure that Huntsvillians of all walks of life can have their story shared. I hope that you take away a deep appreciation of Huntsville Madison County, its residents, those individuals who have helped build this community. I mentioned Alex Haley, grew up on the campus of Alabama A&M, Ottawa Gurley, born here in Huntsville, Alabama, founder of what we know today as Black Wall Street, native son, Will Maston, who launched the career of Sammy Davis Jr., Tallulah Bankhead, probably our most famous actress from Huntsville, if not Alabama. Tallulah has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. People like Mr. John Hendricks, the founder of the Discovery Channel, graduate of Butler High School in UAH. Yeah, the Discovery Channel. Jimmy Wells, co-founder of Wikipedia, Huntsville, Alabama, graduate of Randolph High. So I hope that you leave with an appreciation that Huntsville has made an impact on this nation and on the world, and that it's cool to be from Huntsville, Alabama. You just heard from Mr. William Hampton, the founder of Huntsville Revisited, as he shares his story behind the museum. You may reach William Hampton by sending an email to william at huntsvillerevisited.com or by calling 256-683-7160. You may also stop by during Museum Business Hours. He's located at 2007 North Memorial Parkway, Suite O, Huntsville, Alabama.